Alright guys, the GoPro wouldn't start. I don't know. Uh, I'm feeling a little better this morning. We got one minute to take off. We're boat four. Uh, guys, I have no idea what's going to happen today. It's still dark. But uh, the rain is a coming. It's going to come hardcore. And uh, about 11 o'clock. So it would be great to get a decent bag by then. But I, I, I don't know if I can get a decent bag in three days here. So we'll see what happens. Boat number four. I'm even close. Got the boat. It's the biggest mass I've caught. Well, we smacked a buoy. Couldn't see it. Same color as the water and waves. A bit of damage. size, but we got a keeper. Yeah, well, just, okay. Little bitty fella, but we'll take him. 1.40 pounds. Eat it and eat it. I'm so glad I did. Still barely hit it. <laughs> it's the biggest bass I've caught, I think, since I've been here. It was at the, like three, a little over, close to three and a half. But this one's actually got a sickly looking body, so. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. God is good all the time. Guys, I've had a really rough week I lost my sister this week 44 years old didn't wake up uh, one morning and uh, you know just got all these kids She's got 11 kids seven of them are still at home in between the age of 4 and 16 and they're gonna be lost without her they are lost and uh, but I still firmly believe that God is good at all times and and uh, I'm praying for them all the time. I'm praying for them right now. I love you guys. I love the Greer family. And my mom, she's obviously not doing well. That one's for you guys. It's a 381. Biggest fish I've caught since I've been here. Uh, Kimberly, that's my sister. I love you and I miss you. And this fish is for you. And I'm going to get emotional. Uh, I, I wish I'd have been a better brother and a better uncle, but I can still be a better uncle. I love you and I miss you. And this one's for you. I've got one of these new Kistler nitranium rods. It's really helping me feel the bottom with that big bow in my line from the wind. I can still feel ticking, you know, the structure and the rock and the wood down there. And I can feel when that fish kind of picked it up. Rod sensitivity is not always super important, but it's really important when it's windy and the bites are subtle. Well, my GoPro got shut off, but we caught a big crappie. <laughs> First hook it jumped like a bass. I thought it was a little spotted bass.
13 or so. A little over 13 inches, maybe. Probably not even going to be a pound, but we got to get five today. For sure. Oh, he is a pound. 120. 120 watt. Number three. We got almost six and a half pounds. For three, so it's all right. I guess I don't know. We got one good one. No. Oh. oh man. <laughs> we just lost a pretty decent fish. Fell heavier than the other one. Sure. Maybe a two pounder. Darn it. Take five of those every day. I think. Find out after weigh in. I think I'm going to be our second biggest. A lot closer to two pounds. Yeah. We got a belly. We got one. Bubba says 182. Number four. We got eight and a quarter pounds. Wow. Number four. Number four. Okay. Stuck on the bottom. I popped it off as soon as I did. Boom. He hit it real hard. He's fat little fella. We got five. That's as much as I could ask for him. We got a big one in there. We just gotta figure out how to catch a few. Oh my god, it's so weak. Tree. We're gonna get rid of number three, which was 121. Really? 
reel it in and he just grabbed it. And I mean, just barely got him too. That's a chunky one there, that'll help. I was about to reel it in, he just grabbed it. I took it out of my arms. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, man. So far, this is going way better than we expected. And I'm feeling really good. All right, we got a 140, number one. This is gonna get rid of This one's gonna be two pounder, I think. Oh man, a lot heavier than I thought. 263. Number one's gone. We got 11 and a half pounds, guys. We're working on a sack. <laughs> I think all 11 and a half pounds of laughing. I'm joking, but I'm also serious a little bit. Wow. Unreal. Oh, and I should mention, I've never fished here at all. These last four or five fish, I've never fished here. I'm just fishing. <laughs> I'm just fishing. And it uh, feels good when that works. Me and Miranda, Miranda and I, let me get grammatically correct. We really would love to cash a check here. We missed the check at Rayburn. We were the first spot out. They paid 50 spots, we finished 51st. Missed it by two ounces if you didn't watch that video. Sam Raven, go check it out. I caught 115 bass on day two. And uh, just couldn't get one of them Raven big ones. But the cut weight went up like a pound and 10 ounces or a pound and 12 ounces. One of the biggest increases of cut weight I've ever seen. So we're just fishing. I have no idea where we're at. We're just fishing, man. Trying to shot a little spot with some hard spots on it. I'm sure there's a lot of that on this lake. Well, I know there is. And uh, I don't know if they're just biting today or what, but we talked to our buddy Jimmy Reese. He's got eight pounds, so this needs to be bigger than a 160, which is number five. Let's see if it is. A little bigger. I think it's going to be a 174. Number five is gone. We got 11 and a half pounds. I can't believe this is working. And we just get a couple more of them big bites. We'd be great. Right? Yeah. You don't need to eat long. I got me a handful of trail mix and looked up and there was a fish real high in the column. Come back. Oh, I don't know how we lost that one, but we did. Oh my. That one was over too. Ouch, 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 ouch. He hit it real hard, but then I never felt him. Never had it. And then all of a sudden I picked it up and my line's screaming back the boat. He had it. Fat like some of those. Maybe bigger than a 169. 
183. Way number three again, to make sure we're right. Yeah, that was a two tenths of a coal. That fish felt like a monster. I was almost thinking it was a drum. It felt so big when I hit it. Wet gloves are warmer than no gloves. Told you. Told you I thought they were crappie. Two of them. When they're side by side like that, they ain't moving much. They're crappie. They're crappie. Yeah, they're in twos, he's in threes, he's in just sit there. There is a bunch. I think just the conditions is the reason we don't see as many. 182. No, 174. Be bigger than 174. One sixty-three. Well, it's one o'clock. We got two hours to be back. It's still raining. It's beautiful out here. But I feel good. I don't feel sick. It's awesome. Yeah, problem of trying to scope them. There's so many hybrid and striper and sand bass in here that, that it makes it really difficult to get to a bass. That's a long one. How long that fish is. Really don't help. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's something there four and three quarters in this thing that he's not going to leave much of. I ain't thinking any skinny fish here. He is a skinny. One and a half pounders. Took longer than any spotted bass I got in there. Pretty sure that fish is spawning on the stump. I found him there in practice. He looked like a good one, but he's long. And I didn't jerk on him. Look at our belly on that joker. That's gonna get us a 12 pound. 
254. Number five is gone. We got 12 and a half pounds. Yes, yeah. I'm in like two or three foot of water and I seen that fish crawling on the bottom right in front of the boat. I marked the fish here on a tree. Got a tree somewhere. I can't find the tree, but I saw that fish and threw my shaky over there and picked it up and hit it. Number four, I'm gonna check three and four. Number four. So we got 13 pounds. Heck yes. had a good good day today he's got five fish in the back there you go Kyle this is gonna put you right there in the top five how about a 13 pound and I'm gonna say six 13 six 13 Woo! six for the Kyle Corti out great job man five two is what I'm looking for for Berkeley Big Bass not today no I don't have a five two in there I did catch a four pounder uh, listen I lost my 44 year old sister last week she oh. went to bed woke up well didn't wake up and she got 11 children seven of them are still at home age four to sixteen and they are struggling, man. It's hurting the family, and the kids are lost without her. So just pray for the Greer family. My sister, Kimberly, she was with me all day today. And uh, just remember, tomorrow's never promised, you guys. Absolutely. That's a great way to say it. All right, guys. Back to the camper. And i am got so cold. So, so cold. I'm still trying to warm up, cuddle up next to Marsh here. Um, we're tied for 17th place with our good buddy Drew Gill and another feller. So... Pretty excited about that. That was a good day for me, no doubt. Um, I'm healing from my illness. I still feel it a little bit, so definitely gonna take some more NyQuil tonight. But super excited about that. Did the math again, which my math failed me at Rayburn, but eight and a half pounds will get us paid, 12 pounds to keep us in that top 30 cut, and obviously more weight to get in contention in this thing. Uh, so we got a game plan. We got some fish we didn't go to today. Quite a few fish we didn't go to today. Don't know if those size will be right, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be raining again in the morning, but I think Miranda said it's going to clear, clear off. But it's going to be cold, 40-something and raining. So I'm not looking forward to the morning, but really looking forward to the rain stopping. Anyway, click like, click subscribe. Next video is going to be day two here at West Point. Stop number two for the 2024 Tackle Warehouse Invitations. Bye. Bye.
Thank you.